Mario Majorana is the chief engineer with GM Super Cruise and Safety Operations. And Mario, number one, great to be talking with you about the Super Cruise system. And my first question is, what's been the reaction? It's been out in the market a couple of years now. What have you learned from the customers? Well, first off, uh, thanks for uh, having me. It's great to talk to you. Uh, Super Cruise is an exciting technology. It's uh, great to get the info out there. Uh, the response of Super Cruise has been overwhelming. Um, we are getting approximately 70,000 miles a week on it. We've got over five and a half million miles on the vehicles that are out there. And through our customer surveys of current CT6 owners who use Super Cruise, uh, we've had an overwhelming 85% said that as they look for their next vehicle purchase, they would only look at, they would prefer vehicles with Super Cruise, or in some cases, only consider vehicles with Super Cruise. So I think that's uh, uh, exceptional data and very good feedback from actual users. You mentioned the uh, Cadillac CT6. Is it offered on anything else yet? And what does it cost? Well, it is offered on the CT6 right now. It's an uh, option price, uh, approximately $5,000. Um, and as we have announced, it's going to be on our model year 21 CT4, CT5, as well as our exciting new Escalade. Uh, when you say $5,000, I got to believe that's part of a package. It includes more than just Super Cruise. Th there's package prices involved there, yes. Okay, really good. Uh, and you mentioned uh, the other Cadillacs, but my understanding is Super Cruise is going to be rolled out in every single brand that GM's got. Yes, very exciting. Uh, we, uh, as announced, we'll be getting it on over 22 products before calendar year 23. Uh, one of the first products of that will be non-Cadillac will be our new Chevy Bolt. That's great. And uh, was it just sort of testing the waters? Was it maybe as suppliers couldn't get you all the components? Uh, wh why have it out there two years and now start to ramp it up? Uh, there's been a lot of work going into Super Cruise to improve it, uh, to make it feel more natural from a performance perspective, as well as we've been moving to our new vehicle intelligence platform or the new uh, vehicle electrical architecture. Um, so there's been a move from the previous architecture to the new one. So when we did that, there came a lot of great enhancements and improvements uh, based on that new vehicle intelligence platform. Yeah, one of the things I understand is you now have lane change on demand. Take us through that process. Uh, it's, it's very exciting. Yeah, lane change on demand is uh, a feature where the driver can request a lane change, uh, and then the system will monitor its surroundings, uh, determine if the lane that you're requesting is a uh, drivable lane for Super Cruise, uh, and then it would actually perform the lane change uh, on its own. Uh, letting the driver know throughout the entire process that it's uh, looking through an opening, looking for an opening, uh, it's executing the lane change, and it's also letting you know when the lane change is complete. Uh, a great example of that that I like to share with people is when you're driving and you come up on slower traffic. Uh, with Super Cruise, the vehicle will slow down to follow that traffic, uh, but perhaps you've got a set speed of 70 miles an hour, that vehicle's going 55, you come up on it uh, with a tap of the turn signal to the left, uh, you could pass that vehicle on the left using the Super Cruise Lane Change On Demand feature. What did you have to add to the system to enable it to do that? It, it was really an improvement of some existing technology. Through our new vehicle intelligence platform, uh, we improved our rear sensors, uh, the rear radars. Um, we also have increased compute capability, which allowed us to improve our software, as well as we improved our map information, which is a, a LiDAR-generated high-definition map. We have much richer information in there that more precisely places us uh, in the lane, what lane we're in, as well as gives us a really good idea of the surroundings and the lanes to our left and right and which ones are available for Super Cruise. So uh, your sensors are collecting a whole lot more data than they did in the past. Is that right? Um, it's not as much more data as it's better quality data. I think we have uh, we do have better bandwidth, um, but through the same essential sensor set, and number of sensors, we're able to get better data through our learnings and through the improvements of the sensors. Uh -huh. And uh, w w when you say it's more quality data, what specifically are you looking at? Oh, well, for example, when we're making a lane change, we're looking at the traffic around us, as well as we're looking at traffic coming up on us. When a, when a human makes a lane change, right, it's not just, is there a car next to you, but is there a car in the lane you're moving to that may be coming up at a rapid acceleration, right, through, at, a, at a high rate? Right. So the sensors are looking at all that type of information, for example, when it's making a lane change. Tesla, of course, uh, had that feature on its autopilot system. Now they've gone to automatic lane changing. Do you think that might be the next step in Super Cruise? 
uh, we're always looking to improve the system. Um, I know our team is working uh, tirelessly to improve the system, both performance and new features. So nothing to share today, uh, but we're always looking to improve. And uh, your driver monitoring system has gotten all kinds of accolades. That, that, that's the one thing that Tesla doesn't have on its one. Uh, ha have you made improvements to that as well? Yeah, the driver attention system is really one of our uh, foundational technologies. As you know, it monitors the driver to ensure that the driver's attention is always forward and that the driver is paying attention. Uh, one, to monitor the system, but two, also to make sure that if the system does need to hand back control, uh, that the driver's paying attention and can quickly take control. Uh, with the new vehicle intelligence platform, we have improved the driver attention system. Um, we've done it both in software and hardware. Uh, the software now looks a little more at the eye position and the eye gaze, as well as the hardware has worked to take care of some of the problems we had uh, or customer complaints we had with respect to sun glare hitting that camera and washing out the image. Uh, so we're listening to the customer and we're making the necessary improvements. So yes, the driver attention system has been improved. So for the, the sun glare, what, what was that? That was software, a better lens on the camera or what? It's a little bit of both. There was software involved, but there was also hardware to try to take care of some of that glare off the lens. Yeah. Uh, and you talked about this new electronic architecture that General Motors is starting to roll out right now. I think it started with the C8 Corvette, and I know it's going in the new Escalade and the other full-size utilities. But my understanding is now you'll be able to do over-the-air updates for the maps on uh, the Super Cruise system. You know, interestingly, we've been doing over-the-air updates on the maps in the CT6 also, which is built on the previous electrical architecture. That's always been part of the Super Cruise strategy. Uh, we update the maps uh, at a minimum quarterly, uh, but we can update the maps whenever necessary, perhaps due to a, a road change based on construction uh, or any such factors like that. So we do have the capability uh, with both our systems in the CT6 as well as our upcoming CT4, 5, and Escalade to update maps over the air. And I got to believe you're you're mapping a whole lot more roads than when it first launched. Uh, interesting you should say that. Yeah. Uh, last year in the summer, we announced uh, a road expansion of 70,000 additional miles uh, into different types of roads. So, yes, we're always looking to expand the roads that we operate on because uh, with the positive response we've got from the customer, we want to provide the feature uh, with we want to provide supercars with more features, better performance and more availability, which means more roads. And I know uh, you first mapped out highways across the United States. Now you're doing trunk roads, that is divided highways. How far can you go? Can you take it down to surface streets, maybe even into neighborhoods? Uh, we, we're continuously looking to expand it. Um, but we want to make sure, right, that uh, that we take our time, we do it right, and uh, the safety is the number one priority. So we will map those roads, uh, additional roads, we'll test them, and we'll make sure the system's fully capable before we were ever to turn on roads like that. I, I love all these improvements that you're talking about, but what if I'm somebody who already bought a, a Cadillac and I've got Super Cruise? Is there any way for me to update my system? A lot of the improvements we're talking about are tied to this new vehicle intelligence platform, which gives you more bandwidth and more compute power for us to put the software in. So all the systems moving forward that are based on that platform will get these changes as well as additional changes in the future. Um, the previous platform with the CT6, uh, we're just, it doesn't have the capacity or the capability to do some of these features. We continue to look to improve them, and we've brought customers in for improvements, such as our, uh, uh, what I'll call richer information on um, the display on why the feature has been turned off or disabled to give the driver better information. That was feedback from the customer, as well as dynamic offsets. So while we continue to improve the current system, a lot of these new features are tied to the new vehicle intelligence platform. It's a, it's a great uh, adaptive cruise control system right now. Fantastic in, in, in many ways. Can you tie or will you be tying it into the navigation system so that I could set my destination and maybe go for a full tank of gas with the car essentially driving itself? We're, we're, like I said, we're always looking to improve the system. We're looking to make those types of improvements, right? Because we really want to make the system uh, seamless to the driver. Uh, we want to provide the most benefit for them. So we are looking at improvements, nothing to, to, to announce on that, but we're always looking to improve. Yeah. What am I missing here, Mario? I've asked you a bunch of questions. Uh, anything else uh, that we should be talking about with Super Cruise? No, I think uh, you've covered quite a bit of it very well. Uh, I mean, the key message is Super Cruise is here. The customer loves it. Uh, we get very positive feedback on it. 
Uh, we're going big with the rollout, 22 vehicles uh, additional uh, before 23 across all of our um, brands, not just Cadillac anymore. We've got Chevy, as we announced with the Bolt. So uh, it's here to stay. We're looking to get it out there in the customer's hands and continue to improve it. You know, I've seen a, a couple of television ads for Super Cruise. I got to believe this is something that GM is really going to market. Nobody else, you know, maybe with the exception of Tesla, but it doesn't have a, a monitoring system for the driver. Uh, essentially, nobody else has got this, at least not yet. Right. As we always say, Super Cruise was the first true hands-free operating system, a uh, driver assist system, and it's really stood the test of time and because of the two foundational technologies it's built on, which is that high definition, uh, lighter generated map and the driver attention system. So as we mentioned, yeah, we're, we're all in, we're putting it on a lot of products. We're getting out into our consumers' hands because uh, they've asked for it. Real good. Mario Marirana, thank you so much for taking the time to explain all the updates to Super Cruise. Oh, thanks for inviting me, John. Have a good day. Thanks.